I started getting like way more into makeup after I started getting more involved in drag and like in the queer community and seeing that makeup could be more like a tool of self-expression as opposed to covering something up. I kind of struggled with like, well, how much makeup is like too feminine because I'm not trying to present myself that way and how much I could kind of inhabit this like genderless clown space <laughs> where I feel most comfortable. My name is Doreen Electra. I'm a pop musician and I identify as gender fluid. My usual makeup routine, honestly, is like, I have 15 minutes until I need to leave the house. I never know if I'm getting it on evenly, honestly, but I'm kind of more of like a just slap it on and go person. I feel like a lot of the things I do with makeup start out as accidents, and then I'm like, okay, I'll just do it again and again and again. This is kind of like my own mutilated version of like the sunburned blush look. More like someone took a paint roller to your face. It's my style, I guess. <laughs> this is about to be the most important step of all. It's gotta be waterproof, because you're sipping, you're wiping, you're sweating, whatever. Started doing the mustache in 2016. It was like this one photo shoot that I did with my friend. After that, I was like, oh my God, like this photo is like the most me that I feel like I've ever, ever looked. It's cool to like see other people do it, like when they like come to my shows, but then they do like a way better job than I ever could. I'm like, please do my makeup. And so it's like a little community of like little mustache people. It's interesting because I put on all this makeup when I'm gonna go play a show or do a shoot, and that's like my work. And that usually is like at night. And I definitely feel more like myself when I do have the full face of makeup on, but it's also not something that I would feel comfortable wearing during the day, like going to the grocery store. So it's kind of become this thing where like, I feel most like myself at night. I need a game plan. What's the next move now? Hmm. I'll think I'll go for some eyeliner. I always try to do like the like messy, like smudge lip thing. It's also like really convenient because when I'm performing, my mouth is like all over the mic and stuff. So it like gets smudged anyway. So I'm like, if I come in with the smudge lip, it's purposeful, you know? So I'm grateful for that trend. Just wet looking lip, plump and juicy. And now let me go for my favorite little part. These little tattoo stamps from Milk amazing and they really stay on there. I'm gonna do a mix of little X's and then maybe a little peace sign thing because I'm feeling peaceful today. <laughs> and I really like this one because it smells like coconut. You know it's good when it smells like you want to eat it. I really love like a big, bushy, masculine brow. It's really interesting for me to see how makeup has changed over the last five years even and especially like how drag I think has really impacted makeup. The point of drag is to like explode our notions of gender in the first place. I'm just very lucky that like the majority of my business is in an environment where I can have the full crazy makeup and feel completely comfortable. So I'm very grateful for that.